UCI uh, represent? Yeah, yeah. I, represent? I, you know, I, I, I can't let them know. They're going to be like, oh, no, UCI coming, bro. <laughs> All right, so uh, let's see. Do you, uh, I was going to ask, since you like Villager, of your uh, opinions on uh, Poofy, I mean, uh, Isabel. <laughs> Isabel? Uh, you know, I feel like she's a character that has a ton of potential, but I do feel like she's a bit more gimmicky. Okay. Because... But right the, now, the, if, the people love... Uh, yeah, the people, I mean, the, she, the, she's the people cool. Love like, the, the fishing rod against certain characters, especially some of the heavier characters, uh, getting back onto the stage can be a nightmare against oh, Isabel. Yeah. But I just feel like the Lloyd Rocket from Villager in general just is more of a shield warranting response. Like, you have to do something. Whether you get out of the way of it or whether you jump, like, you have to respond to it. Where it, the, the fishing rod in neutral just doesn't really have that same kind of impact. So for the way I like to play, I prefer Villager. But one of the things that I wish more Villager players would do so pretty much any character in the game at 90%, if you hit them with a down smash on Villager, they get buried and it's an automatic bowling ball. I don't And that's the stop. I don't know. I Okay, I know uh, Inkling has the longest berry, but after that, I think the second longest berry might belong to King K. Roo or Villager. I'm not 100% sure. I, I know it's long enough to get a bowling ball out to him more oh, often no, so, than not. SoCal is the king of mashers, <laughs> man, all right? I, I trust me. If I've been out here, I'm like, yo, these people will be mashing at 30%, all right? Sometimes I, I'll go back to East Coast, people will be like, oh, I got grabbed. Yeah. yeah, it's all right, man. I'm like, all right, I'll pump with you. To, I'll pump with you. Here they're like... <laughs> yeah, far, I mean, far, and, and Villager the also closes the stock out early with the bowling balls off stage. Ooh, we're getting some Ken action? Okay, I'm a fan. Oh, I saw it in the X last week. All right, yeah, I know he plays Ken and Villager. Uh, it was a good set. Uh, I won 2-1. One, one, like, right? one thing you got to watch out for Ken is he deals way earlier than you. Which people low-key don't really respect his too short you. However, Ken is very strange. Uh, my time with him is forward smash. It has the smallest sweet spot in the game. Uh, it does have a lot of knockback. And in addition, his Tatsumaki is a separate hit. It's not a connecting, so he can do additional Tatsumaki, uh, which is a side hit. I feel like players have just only started to scratch the surface of this kid play. As far as technical prowess and requirements goes, Peach Daisy obviously at the top of that list, but some of the combos I've seen people pull off that are true with Ken are absolutely astounding, so we might be in for a real treat. Here. Uh, the one thing I am... Alright, so... I was going to say, the one thing that Ken's going to have a problem against Meta Knight, it's not going to be really, really much about the kills. It's going to be more that his recovery is essentially in three directions. And Meta Knight has a very good smooth red card. That's sick. That's sick. All right. Not bad. I mean, as much as we've been talking up to Ken, meanwhile, Cyrus only got 36% damage. And he's like, problem? As he goes ahead and takes the first stock. Nice. We've seen some pretty strong Meta Knight play here so far. I, I'm pretty sure he turned around that up beat. Because originally, I was thinking that was an up beat out of shield. Uh, that down throw to True Shore you was definitely not what he was trying to do. Beautiful connection from Cairo. Cairo right now is just, I think he just understands Sandman, I mean Ken's weight, and he's able to really string. Most of these things he's doing are not true. However, he's reading directional influence, and he's reading Ken's weight, and he's able to follow up. Like, that baited jump right there, that's beautiful play. What that says to me is that he has a really quick understanding of his opponent in each matchup. It's not necessarily the character versus character, it's the person versus the person, understanding the tendencies and being able to punish that. Ken gets back on the stage, looks for the cheeky spot dodge, gets punished for it, and Cyro's like, not so much. That so. sweet spot Nair, that Nair he never actually threw out, so that was like a super, super sweet Nair. The other thing is, I completely agree with you on that. Right now, it looks like more like Cairo's understanding his player more than that, but he also, it's more of like understanding the game. Okay, he's in a bad spot here, <laughs> because he was so close to Meta Knight, where he couldn't SDI out from it, even if he SDI'd in, it pushed Meta Knight, and so he got an extra 22% I believe on that. Zan's gonna come away from this game and be like, man, Meta Knight's broken. <laughs> and we do them dirty out oh, here. Carol's like, hold on, hold on. Can I get on one of those weekly YouTube clips real quick? Right. Uh, we, we dunk on these. That drill was nice. I, that drill was really nice. He's like, you know what? I thought he was just going to hang on ledge and kind of go for bear. Because the thing is, with a Street Fighter character, usually when they have no jump, they and they can't, they cannot focus double dash out into, Tatsu, uh, into side B Tatsumagi. Yeah. They kind of just got to go for ledge. Like, they have no options. And essentially, Ken or Ryu are dead if they have no jump. Oh, he's going next. 
Switching up. One of the things that always cracks me up when you when you oh, see wait, a wait, local I'll tournament. Oh, your boy, your boy comes it's out. My boy. It's like just the lack of eye contact after someone dunks on someone like that. Yeah, it's just yeah. like, you really just jumped off the stage that far and did me dirty like that? Yeah. yeah. And you're just going to tell me what your bands are? <laughs> That's cold, man. All right, uh, nice and air from here. All right, uh, so one thing Ryu can is, Ryu has, that was actually kind of cute. Like, unfortunately, he hit the bad spot over there. Is Ryu, uh, Roy is going to want to nair a lot more here because of focus. And the, the other thing Roy's going to want to do. Oh, uh, down the dash from there. Not able to do out. much. That that could have comboed into a sure Ryu, can I feel. I, Definitely yeah, a bit on the table there. I agree. I, maybe he just thought it wouldn't kill or, like, like, I don't know the ceiling of FD, though I know what the... Even some the up tilts, like one or two, and then what, you know, an up B would have been enough for that. But meanwhile, wow. forward smash is going to be enough. No, no, Sans no, is down to stop. B. Was it? Oh, yeah, that was side B. But uh, I, I just don't think he could connect with any single one for that one. Like, if I had to be bad the odd, dodge in the middle of the stage like that. All right, nice there. to bear there. No jump. Uh, anything will kill Roy right now. Syro just seems to have this really strong ability to get an opponent's stock from 0 to 50% in the blink of an eye. Just yep. if you get hit, hit once, you might be getting hit three or four times afterwards. He's all over Zanza right now. Oh, man. Yeah, Zanza right now just can't get back. Uh, all right. Ooh. That was really greedy. I, I think he... Oh, nice edge guard right there. Hits him with the back air from there. And that was a cute V reverse to kind of like wait out his invincibility, invulnerability, invincibility, whatever. Oh, Zanza's throwing out moves right now. And yeah, Cairo's kind of all over. He's throwing, he's throwing moves out. Cyro's out here playing like he's not trying to stick around past 12, 15, 12, 30. He's trying to end this sooner rather than later. Un